everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm Kelly Manzoni. Thank you for joining me for today's class. We're going to need a few things. The stick mobility bundle. So your two six foot or seven foot long sticks and your short four foot or five foot stick. Also access to a sidewall and if you need it, possibly a towel or a pillow for your knee. We're going to focus on mobilizing our upper body getting into some strength work, building leg strength and stability, and then finishing with our active stretching. So to get started, we're gonna use our short stick and you could uh, use a wooden dowel, PVC pipe, whatever you have available to you if you don't own stick mobility yet. In your horse stance, we're going to bend into the knees, take a moment taking the tailbone under, proud chest, zipping up the front of the body, and we're gonna take the stick in front chest height pushing into both sides and rotating over towards the right first. So I'm aware that this is my left side, but because the camera flips me, I'm gonna call it my right. And my hip bones are gonna to continue to face forward, come through center, pushing in maybe about 20, 30%. And now over to the left, again, hip bones are facing forward. Watch the shoulders that they're not shrugging up high, coming through center, up and over back to the right. Eyes leading the head, you're gonna inhale and exhale as you rotate. I say it all the time, I'm a big uh, believer in diaphragmatic breathing. So oftentimes when I'm training myself, I nasal breathe throughout. If you wanna do that, you would close the mouth, rest the tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe in and out through the nose. Now, when you go to this right side, I want you to dip for a moment getting a nice lateral stretch, kind of similar to what we would do with a bow and arrow. Come through center, up and over to the other side. And I'm gonna take that right shoulder, lift out of the hip line, a little lean. Come back through center, let's do that one more time. Over to the right, just a gentle dip. Through center, one more here. Dipping that right shoulder, I can feel that stretch in the left hip and then back through center. We're gonna park the stick onto the right hip, roll out the shoulders if needed, and then we're gonna come back on a diagonal. So I'm taking that right bottom palm and I'm gonna push up in back as we get into the shoulder girdle. So it's inhale and then exhale. Let's do two more here before we go over to our right side. I don't know where you are, but here in Connecticut, the humidity is so high today. <laughs> It is hot. So again, now that left hand is gonna push up and back on a diagonal. Perfect, let's do two more, then we're gonna get into some reverse kayaking. One more here, park it back onto the hip and keeping our hips forward and maintaining our horse stance, we're gonna add just a little bit more range of motion, reaching back. Four more, back one, two, three on four it's on that left hip and now we're going to go forward these are a staple in uh, my daily movement especially with all the kettlebell training and barbell work and circular training as you can see with all the tools behind me so we're going to go four more one two three four excellent come center shake it out we're going to kind of go into more of a dynamic stretch. I'm going to go a little bit on profile here, and I'm going to take my stance wider than hip width with the toes slightly turned up. Taking the stick to chest height, I'm going to push into the stick, begin to hip hinge, round down, sweep the arms forward, come up, and right back down to the chest. So inhale, exhale, reaching up, and you could add more of a spinal wave. You know, everybody is different, so find what you're comfortable with. Inhale, exhale, reach. Good. Let's do four more. You could even add, if you'd like, a little bit of a back bend, squeezing through the glutes. Again, personalize it for how you're feeling today. Let's do one more. Reach. Come up and come neutral. Excellent. Quick tricep stretch. So you're going to take your stick into your left hand. 
your hands are going to be right at the base of the neck. You're going to create a little bullhorn with that elbow. Then your right hand is going to come across and add a little bit of tension drawing down. Important to note, right, I want you to maintain nice alignment with your pelvis. You're going to take out that anterior tilt and take the tailbone under. And from here, take that right arm and kind of push a little bit over towards your left and look upward towards the ceiling. Excellent. Coming through center, simply transition. We have the right hand now to the base of the neck. Left hand comes across. This shoulder is going to come down. And then I'm going to push gently, pulling down with that bottom left hand, sweeping it across towards the right, looking upward towards the ceiling, again, watching your alignment, and coming through center and release. Just take a moment to roll out, stretching the top of our foot. So we're going to plant our flex, take your short stick in front. This is my left leg. I'm going to take the top of my right foot down, scooping the tailbone under and bend a little bit into that left knee. So I could feel a nice stretch going across the top of the foot right into the ankle. You know, those of you that do like racket sport or basketball, I know I've been trail running a lot, and we tend to focus on stretching out the bottom of the feet or our calves, and we neglect the top of the foot, and I just love the way this feels. Come out of it for a second, roll it up. Let's do that one more time. So you're in a staggered stance, tailbone under, Relax that shoulder. Just gentle pressure down into the top of the floor. Hold for a moment. Excellent. Release. Roll it out. And then we're going to do the other side. So my right leg is forward. My left is the one that I'm going top of the foot down. Watching the alignment with the pelvis. A little bend into that knee. Breathing, of course. This side feels a lot better than the right side. I say it every class, but it's great to kind of take uh, little mental notes on the differences between your right and left side. Roll it out, shake it out for a moment, go right back into it, pushing down gently. Breathe, eyes forward, hold, gently release, roll it out. And now we're just going to get into a few calf raises. So your stick now is going to be slightly centered of both of your feet. Take one hand on top, you're in your horse stance, and let's just releve a little calf work up and down on that right side. Again, maintaining that horse stance. Switch to the left, and they articulate into the toes. I wear a lot of uh, minimalist shoes, love them, and toe spreaders occasionally. And this is what, you should kind of feel like you're in toe spreaders right now as you're doing your uh, elevation of your heel. Now on the other side, we're just gonna work a little in and out, and then we're gonna circle in a moment. Notice how the hip is staying still. The movement is coming from the foot in the ankle complex, not initiated from the knee or the hip. And then we're gonna circle clockwise. So I'm pushing down into the ball of my foot, going clockwise, and now go counter. Clockwise. I always find that counterclockwise is a little bit more challenging. Let's do two more. And recover. Excellent. Shake it up. Other side. Get into your position. And a little side to side. So the knee is in place. Hip is in alignment. Hold here. Okay, here we go. This is live. Reality, my father-in-law just showed up. Oh boy, hopefully he just leaves out on the porch. Now we're gonna circle out and around. Big circle, and you're gonna initiate the circle again, going counterclockwise and then clockwise. I realize on the other side, we did clockwise first. Perfect, now clockwise. Again, push down into the ball of the foot. Very nice. Let's do one more and recover. Great, shake it out. We are now gonna grab our two sticks, getting into a little bit of a hip hinge before we get into our legs. So I'm standing a little bit wider 
then hip width, kind of the setup of what your kettlebell swing would look like. Hands now are below the shoulder line and then just hip hinge forward. Push down into the sticks and while I'm here, I like to kind of corkscrew the knuckles forward. I feel like I get a little bit more lat activation that way. Inhale, exhale, uncorkscrew if you did and kind of roll up with a little bit of a rounded back. Hip hinge forward, pause here, push down into the sticks. Again, I like that slight rotation of the knuckles inward. I really feel the lats light up. Hold, deep breath, in and out. Knees are soft, so the knees are right above the ankle line. And uncorkscrew the knuckles. Scoop out your middle, tuck your chin, and roll up slowly. Excellent. Going into a lateral stretch, work wider than hip width, and everybody's mobility and flexibility is a little bit different. So if you feel like you need to be in a little bit more of a narrow stance, by all means, that is okay. So hands underneath that shoulder line. We're gonna take both arms across to the right, then I'm gonna bend significantly into the left knee, taking my left shoulder and dipping it down towards the foot. So this front arm, the chin should be able to cross over, come up through center, keeping it moving, up and over to the other side. Again, deep bend into the right knee now, looking upward on a diagonal. Inhale and exhale. So the feet are really gripping the ground, toes are facing forward. Perfect. I'm pushing down into the sticks, maybe about 20, 30% at the most. Let's go one more time. Breathe into it. Through center, good. Up and over, hold. Excellent. Slowly come up. Take your sticks forward first. Heel toe in gently. And then we're gonna place our stick down, go for a bow and arrow before we get into our strength work. We're standing a little bit wider than hip width with our stick maybe about three to four inches out from the midline of the right foot. Left hand, thumb is gonna face down. Right hand is gonna find the sticker. To create the bow, I'm first gonna send my hip out towards the left. Then I'm gonna push with that bottom right arm and pull back with the top left arm. I like to personally get into the front line a little bit so what I like to do is angle and start to look upward towards the ceiling as I'm pushing down into the stick and slowly come out of it. Let's do one more on the side. Lead with the hip, push out, pull back with that top arm. Hold here, add a little flossing. So driving down into the stick, it's important to know chin stays neutral and the chest is staying still. So the only part moving is your arms. Perfect, come through center. Let's go over to the other side. Stick is over to the left. Right hand, thumb is gonna face down. Left hand is gonna be around the sticker. Send your hips out first, inhale, exhale. Start to press out with that bottom left arm. And then again, pull back with that top right arm, really getting into the fascia there in the lateral lines. Hold, slowly come out of it, and now we're gonna add that flossing. Drive down into the stick, send the hips out, create your bow and arrow. Pause here for a moment, gripping the ground with the feet, keeping the tailbone under, chest still. Again, chin is neutral, so you're not flossing into pain. Let's do two more, forward, and back out in that frontal plane, forward, and then hold for a moment, slowly come out of it. Excellent. Getting into our strength work. We're gonna start with some tricep work, kneeling on the ground. So if you need your pillow or towel, please grab it now. Going to the side wall, I'm gonna take the sticks about shoulder width apart coming down into a kneeling position. 
top of the feet down, though you can anchor with the balls of the feet if you prefer. Now I'm going to slide my hands down right in line with my shoulder. I might have to make a little bit of an adjustment. And I'm going to wiggle my knees back, tucking the tailbone under, and I'm pushing already into the sticks and can feel the front line light up. I'm going to go back a little bit further here and bend into the elbows. Inhale, exhale, press back. So if you want to make it more advanced, you're going to go further back. Inhale, exhale, push. So I've got maybe about 60% pushing down into the floor. Again, coming forward, chin is neutral. Watch that you're not compensating with the lower back. So essentially, your upper body is like uh, in a moving plank, but on a diagonal. Press back, exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale as you lower. Chin neutral, press back. One more. And relax. Well done. Now we're gonna take our short stick here, just because of spacing, depending on how much room you have, you could stay with one of your longer sticks. So we're gonna go into a plank row. We did this a couple weeks ago. I am going to, because of the way my room is set up here, I'm going to stay just on one side for both of them. So I'm going to begin with the left side. We're coming into a high plank, and if you need to modify at any time, you could go wider with your legs, or you could go in the quadruped position. You can even anchor uh, with the balls of the feet and lift the knees off the floor if you do not want to go into a full plank. So palms right below the shoulder line, looking down, chin neutral. Walk out wide, take a slight tuck of your tailbone, and now I'm gonna activate that left lat. So I'm already pushing into the wall, and then I'm gonna row. Inhale, exhale, pull. So that thumb now is coming up in line with the chest. Excellent. So I want you to do six of these. I did just about three there. And you could go at your own pace. The slower you go, the more challenging. And again, you have those variation options where you could go onto all fours if you need a modification. You could play with a quadruped position and simply elevate the knees. So you should have maybe about one or two left. We're gonna take a second to recover, and then we're gonna go over to the right side. After you finish your six, if you need a sip of water, please grab it. And let's do the other side. Okay, so pushing against that wall, it is now going to be your right side. Take your position, nice and steady, palm below that shoulder line. Again, hips balanced, begin to row, inhale, exhale, pull one, slowly lower, pull two, stay nice and square. Good, three, feel that back fire up. Four, so you have two more. You're gonna be trembling. I want you to put a little bit more pressure into that wall. Again, staying parallel with that body. Notice the shift in your hips, or if you start to pike up, we wanna take that pike out and maintain that clean alignment with the plank. So you should have maybe one left if you were going slower, and then take a moment to recover. We're coming up now both of our sticks, getting into an RDL series. We're gonna uh, do six on each side, going into our hip hinge, and then elevating one stick off the ground and holding for two counts. So I'll demonstrate, I'm on a diagonal. This is my left leg, I'm gonna elevate my right. Hip hinge, nice and parallel. I'm gonna pack that shoulder of my right arm, lift, hover, hold, one, two, then lower the stick, stay connected, and drive up. So six together. <clears throat> Have your setup. So the sticks are at like 11 and one o'clock. I'm gonna elevate the right knee, hip hinge forward, biceps right in line with the ears, rotate that right hip, thigh, 
and foot down, flexing the foot. Elevate that left arm, hold. One, hold two, lower the stick, drive up. We got five more. Hip hinge forward, find your focal point, maintain that balance, drive down into that right stick, elevate the left, hold, lower the stick, activate that posterior chain, come back to standing. Four more. Hip hinge forward, maintain, elevate, hold, lower the stick, grip the ground. Nice and slow. So I don't want you to rush coming out of the RDL. Hold. Breathe. Lower the stick. Drive up. We got one more that we're going to add on. Hip hinge forward. Push down into that right side. Elevate the left. Hold. Breathe. Take the stick to the ground. Drive up nice and slow. Now, extend that right leg, work into the quad, hold, bend the knee. Inhale, exhale, push forward through that heel, hold. Good, slowly re-bend. We're just gonna do four, two more. Push through the heel, squeeze. If you need to take the leg lower, by all means, please do. One more, stand tall. Hold one, hold two, hold three, and on four, slowly lower the leg and shake it out. Excellent work. So now we're gonna go over to the other side. Six, and then we finish with four of the extension. So here we go. Elevating now the left foot, standing tall. Begin to hip hinge. Pause here, lift that right arm now as you're driving down through the left. Good, lower the stick, activate that posterior line, drive up. Find your focal point, right? So we're really working that foot angle complex. And then you're gonna elevate, lift that right arm, hold. One, two, lower. That was a poor count, sorry about that. <laughs> and drive up, four more. Push down into those sticks. Activate that left side, elevate the right. Find that length through the torso and drive up. Good, three more. Again, notice the differences between your dominant and less dominant side. Lower the stick. Drive up, perfect. Again, come down, elevate that right arm, hold, pack that shoulder, lower, drive up. Pausing here, stand tall, extend that left leg, hold one, hold two, re-bend, work lower if needed. Inhale, exhale, extend. Even that standing leg is getting work. Take it back in. Good. Two more. Push energy forward through the heel. Focal point. Breathe. Drive down into the ground. Last one with a four count. Here we go. Out one, two, three, four, and slowly lower. Whew, those will work you. And now we're going to get into some Captain Morgans. In our Captain Morgans, we're gonna add on two. So we were just doing an extension when the leg is forward. We're gonna do it when we're open out. So taking your sticks, 12 and three, or 12 and nine o'clock, depending on which side you're on and how you're facing, I'm gonna take my left foot, I'm gonna call it my left, to the inside of the 12 o'clock stick. Now, it's important to note too that you're not gonna to start to shift the hips out we want to stay in alignment as much as possible. I know we're a bit fatigued from the RDLs, so we'll see. We'll do the best that we can. So I'm pulling up, open out to the side. Good. Lower. Flex the foot. Drive up. Close the door. Lower. Good. Pull. 
Breathe, keep pressing down into the sticks, open the door, lower all the way down, flex that foot, drive up, tension, push that knee back, close the door. Now, we're gonna add on, drive up, pause, open the door, extend the leg, hold four counts, hold one, two, three, on four, re-bend, and close the door. Gently lower. Excellent. Shake it out. Other side. So take a moment to find your setup. Again, we want to focus on keeping our neck relaxed. Notice if you start to hike up your shoulders towards your ears. Keep your shoulders down and back. So I'm taking my right foot now to the inside of the stick. Gliding up. Open out to the side. Good. Lower, flex, elevate, knee is back. Then we close that door. Push into the stick, pull, drive up, open, push that knee back. You're squeezing the opposite glute. Good, close the door. Let's do one more, we're gonna add on. Open, now extend. Hold four counts, hold one, two, three, on four, re-bend, close the door, and gently lower. Excellent, Woo. those are exhausting, but they're good. Now we're gonna come down to the ground for a little bit of core work. Depending on what space you have, I'm using my short stick, if you want to use your longer stick, you can absolutely do so. Getting into some dead bugs. We're going to begin with just an active hold before we move on to extending the leg. So laying down comfortably, take a moment. And if you have any neck issues and you struggle with having your head completely flat, place your head on a pillow. You're going to, I'm going to elevate my head just so I can talk to the camera. But um, like we did in last week's class, I want you to picture a yoga block between your knees. Your ankles are going to be in line with your knees, and your knees are going to be right above your hip line. There's a slight tip tuck of that tailbone, like I'm already activating my front line. I could really feel it. Taking the stick, now I'm going to push into the stick, into the thighs, and now my thighs are going to push forward into the stick. Breathe and hold. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do two five count holds and then we're gonna add on. So find your position, get ready, tip, hold, push five. Hold one, hold two, really push, hold three, hold four, hold five, and then slowly draw the knees in. If you need to, do a little wiper from side to side. Okay, second one. Get yourself set up. Remember your alignment. Tip up and push. Hold one. Hold two. Really push. Breathe. Three. Hold four. Hold five. And lower. Take a second. Extend the legs out, shake it out for a moment, and now we're going to go into the same position, alternate, flexing the foot, driving a straight leg down with tension, drawing it back in. So we're not going to do many. Uh, I do not want you to compensate your lower back, so you could go back to an active hold if you feel that it's necessary. So here we go, a slight tuck, push drive down, inhale, exhale. Draw that knee in, push, drive down, stay connected, take it back in. Flex, strong flex of the foot, inhale, exhale, drive down, pull it back in, perfect. Let's do two more on each side, push. The slower you go, the harder it is. The more you push, the harder it is. Take it back up, close that rib cage. One more on each side. Excellent, finish strong, last one, 
and then take it in and relax. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to my long stick. We're going to do some active stretching now. Because we just worked those bird dogs, we're going to kind of work into our lower back. So you're going to lay in your belly. have to admit, this one is definitely a personal favorite. You're going to squeeze into the stick. Squeezing into the stick is going to help you to keep your body, upper body low to the ground. So I'm going to bend my right knee, open the hip, and my eyes are going to look over towards the opposite side of where my foot is going. Elevate the left. And then I'm going to look over to the left. My toe is over to the right. Good. There it is. Feels amazing. Take your time. Let's do two more on each side. Pushing into the stick. Inhale and exhale as we start to unwind. Let's do one more. And one more on this side. Excellent. Good. Slide that stick forward. <laughs> and now we're going to use our side wall as we continue to stretch. Taking the sticks, I want you to hold up high with the hands. If it bothers you at any time to have your arms extended overhead for a longer period of time, you could take your sticks out wide on the frontal plane if needed. I'm going to step forward with my left leg and I'm going to actively push my palms into the stick and at the same time I'm going to take that back right foot from anchoring with the ball of the foot to top of the foot down and I'm going to scoop my tailbone under really focusing on the hip line and now I'm going to drive energy forward into the sticks and focusing on that hip. From here, I'm going to slowly take the arms out to the side, add a little front line stretch. Pause. Perfect. Hold and breathe. Now, re-anchor with the ball of the back foot. Find your focal point. Elevate that knee. Lift the chest now a little bit. Take that tailbone under so you're not going crazy into your lower back. And then elevate the arms up overhead once again. Maybe go a little bit wider into your lunge. Come down. Keep squeezing that back loop. And then lower your knee softly to the ground. Top of the foot is going to go back down. And I want you to come across. So that outside left hand is going to come down. Right arm reaches up. And I'm pushing down with that top hand. And then this back hand is pushing forward. Getting into the ribs. This is money. It feels so good. Take a moment. Come through center. Lower the sticks onto your shoulders. You're going to create your train tracks. Anchor with the ball of that back foot. Come up. And we're going to get into a staggered hamstring stretch. What I like about having the sticks on the shoulders is it could really reinforce length through the spine, right? So you're not caving in on yourself and scooping the tailbone under. We want to pack the shoulders, engage the last length in the spine, and think of the hips going back and then bend into that back right knee, flex the foot, hold, stay with it, come forward out of it for a moment. Now this time when we pull back, pause here, you're going to do a little windshield wiper, turn the toes out, think of the big toe drawing upward towards your forehead, and then rotate the toes inward. Good. Again, rotate outward and then rotate inward. 
Take a moment, flatten the foot, step in, and shake it out for a second. Grab water if you need it. We're gonna go to the other side. So we're in our knee down lunge position. This time our right leg is gonna be forward. I start to get the alignment anchoring the ball of the foot and then I go top of the foot down. Scooping the tailbone under, about 20% push forward down into the sticks. I could really feel that front line getting right into underneath the armpit into the lats. Hold. This hip is actually a little bit tighter. So again, now we're going to open slowly, arms out to the side on that frontal plane. And you could take your chest a little bit further forward again. Be mindful of the position. Don't throw your lower back into it. Then anchor with the ball of the foot. You might need to wiggle out wider. It's up to you. Squeeze that back seat. So we have a very active back leg. Then take the arms again, up overhead, upright the chest a little bit, push down into the sticks, hold. Then we're going to lower the knee gently, top of the foot goes back down, and this time that right arm is going to drop, and now that top left hand stays there. So I'm pushing forward into the wall, and then down into the floor. Breathe. Very nice. Stay with it. And then come through center. Anchor with the ball of the back foot. Come to stand. Shake it out. And now we're going into that hamstring stretch. Taking our right leg forward, left leg back. Use those train tracks. Then you're going to soften into that back left knee. Lengthen with the right. Hold. And again, everybody's different. You could go, you know, a lot further down as long as you can maintain the alignment. You also don't want to have such an offset, you know, with your hips. You want to try to keep them as level as possible. Flatten the foot. Square off. Go into the flex of the foot once again. So again, Thinking of the big toe coming upward towards the forehead, you're going to corkscrew the toes out, keeping everything else still. Shoulders down. Rotate the big toe inward. Very nice. Hold. Then realign and slowly come to stand. Beautiful. We're going to take one stick to the ground. We're going to come down for snake reach, <clears throat> one of my personal favorites. So the right leg is going to be forward, right leg forward, and the stick is going to go to the inside of that right thigh. Left hand is going to hold up high with the thumb facing down, and now you have the space between your shirt and the stick. So extend out your right leg, or excuse me, right arm. You're going to thread it through the space slide the stick back, and then rotate and square off that hip forward. Now, if you want to intensify the stretch, the arm is lengthened. If it's too intense, bend the elbow. Just simply walk the hand down. That bottom hand, right, you could take the stick further out away from your body if you want to intensify it. And keeping that right knee facing forward, I'm just going to rotate. So again, this hip is forward towards you, towards the camera. And then slowly come out of it a little bit. Inhale, exhale, rotate back into the stretch. Hold four counts. Hold one, two, three. Now on four to come out of it, that bottom hand, slide the stick in, bend this elbow, and slowly release. Take a moment. Ah, that is awesome. I love this. And now we're going to the other side. So left leg is forward. The right leg is back behind us. Take your right hand, thumb down. We have that space again between our shirt and the stick. Here's that uh, left arm, thread, 
come through. And then you're going to, again, kind of rotate that hip forward, getting that nice stretch. If you want to intensify it, you wiggle the bottom stick out, look over that shoulder, hold and breathe. Remember, if you need to modify, the elbow is bent, slowly come out of it, and then work your way back into the stretch. Hold here for a breath or two, and then slowly come through center, slide it in, top right hand comes down, and release, shake it out. Excellent. Now coming into standing bow and arrow again. In the beginning of class, we were in our wide stance, and now we're going to do our narrow stance. I really like this one a lot, as you know, because I put it into class often. So we're going to cross our left leg over our right leg. So you have to be grounded with the feet, and you have to connect through the legs, squeeze those inner thighs, engage your glutes. The stick is going to be a little bit further up than in your wide stance. Here comes the left hand on top, right hand finds the sticker, and then pressing out into the bow. This really travels down lower into the hip area, hitting a bit of that QL. Hold here. You can also look upward towards the ceiling. I find in the narrow stance sometimes if I look upward towards the ceiling, it throws off my balance. Tailbone stays under, breathe. And now slowly, come out of the stretch. Excellent. Let's go to the other side. So our right leg is crossing over the left. Grip the ground with the feet. Engage, squeeze, zip up that upper body. Here we go, right hand on top, left hand on the bottom. Create that bow. Pull back with that top arm. Make sure that that bottom shoulder is relaxed, right? We're not tensing up our neck in any way, and it's not hiking up towards the ear. Hold. Four more count. Hold one, two, three. On four, slowly come out of it. And we're going to finish with some slap shot. So slap shot is going to get uh, a bit into our front line a little deeper, and also into our legs a bit. You're going to take your stick to the swell of your lower back with the palms facing forward. Take a moment, heel toe out to where you know you can manage it comfortably. You're gonna hip hinge forward, nice flat back. This right side is gonna come across as far over comfortably to the left as possible. And then I'm gonna bend into that right leg and look upward towards the ceiling and then down to the floor. Again, upward towards the ceiling, and then downward towards the floor. Shift into the other leg. So now you're bending into the left leg here, and look upward. Look downward, focus on that inner thigh. Look upward, look downward, perfect. Come through center, release. Slowly come out of the hinge, heel toe in, shake it out, and then we'll finish with the other side. Heel toe up, hip hinge, nice flat back, knees are soft. Taking now left side as far over to the right as you can comfortably. Big bend into that left knee, right leg is straight, and then we're going to look down to the floor and upward towards the ceiling. I can really feel that. I love this. Downward towards the floor. Upward towards the ceiling. Excellent. One more time. And now shift into the other leg. Same thing. Look up. Look down. Again. Excellent. Soften into both knees. Come through center, slowly come up, heel toe in. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. 
Next Tuesday, I'll be here, and then my friend George is taking over for the month of July, and I'll be back in August. You can find me on Instagram, at kelsbells88, and please make sure to check out Stick Mobility's YouTube channel, where they have a ton of tutorials. The live IG classes later get uploaded onto YouTube, too, so that's another way uh, for you to watch them. And tune into their Movement Made Better podcast, you could watch some of the episodes on YouTube or you could listen on Spotify and Apple. Thank you again and I'll see you next week.